While her baby sleeps, Wilhelmina watches over him, trying to keep him safe from harm. There are many dangers lurking, and one of this is a constant threat of contracting malaria. Wilhelmina lives in Lokichar, a dusty little town in the country's north. The health ministry normally provides all pregnant women with mosquito nets because of their vulnerability, but one wasn't available at the facility she visited, and she fears that she and her child are vulnerable as she has experienced frequent bouts of malaria. The last time I had malaria, the facility didn't have the medication in stock. I went to the pharmacy, but it was expensive. The World Health Organization estimates that there are 229 million cases of malaria worldwide. The disease killed more than 400,000 people in 2019, more than two-thirds of them children. Malaria is caused by a parasite which is carried by female Anopheles mosquitoes, and now a study published in The Lancet appears to confirm that drug-resistant mutations of the parasite responsible for malaria are gaining ground in Africa, Drug resistance is not uncommon. Drug resistance is a naturally occurring phenomenon, whether it is to malaria or bacterial infections. Anytime a microorganism, such as the malaria parasite, is exposed to a threat, such as the drug, there are a few parasites that will survive. These parasites will survive because they are resistant or because they are capable of developing resistance. The most effective treatments for malaria are known as atomicinin-based combination therapies. So this atomicinin compound rapidly reduces the number of parasites within the bloodstream and the partner drug then clears off what is left. Certain practices, however, contribute to drug resistance. How we contribute ourselves to drug resistance is, number one, when somebody has a fever, not bothering to have a diagnosis, self-medicating. The truth is there are many causes of fever. It's important to give an anti-malarial where malaria has been diagnosed. In the trial cited by The Lancet, more than 200 children infected by the parasite received the standard treatment and were then monitored. Three days post-treatment, about 15% had detectable parasites. Kenya has seen a 25% reduction in malaria cases in the country, a result achieved by putting in place strategies that include improving detection of malaria, having community management strategies that involve community health workers, and starting treatment as soon as possible. Drug manufacturing companies also continue to innovate. And across the region, as information spreads, ordinary citizens continue to do their best to battle the disease. Wilkes and Yabwa CGTN.